Hi, this is Brandon with Android Advice and Tutorials. Here I'm going to show you how to use your Android Wear smartwatch as a remote control for your camera, um, for your phone's camera. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is once, of course, if you have your Android Wear watch already synced with your device, you can search for Wear Camera Remote or Android Wear Camera, and here you'll see it. Now when you tap on that app, um, you'll go ahead and install it, and what it'll do is it'll integrate itself into your phone itself. Okay, So let's turn it off. We'll go ahead and set it this way so that our camera is facing up. And we'll come to our watch. Now there's two ways to open this from your watch. Okay, One is tap it twice to get to your settings. Um, and scroll all the way down to start. Okay, Once you hit start, <clears throat> you'll see camera as one of your options. So you'll select that and here you see the camera sees me above the phone so wherever your phone is you can take a picture so let's say for instance I'm ready to take this picture all I do is tap it and you see it flies to the side that means it took the picture now you can swipe to the left and change the cameras okay turn the flash off very few settings but it does have settings that's that's it um, <clears throat> okay now as I stated before there's two ways to get to it you can actually say, OK, Google, open camera. And that will also open the camera app. So as you can see, oops, pick up the phone here. OK, that's me recording. OK, surfboard in the corner. Um, so it, it does a pretty good job. The it's a little um, laggy on on the phone. I mean on the watch itself, but <clears throat> we did take the picture already. So let's go to the phone. Okay, now we're at the camera because that's what it opened, and you can see that it actually takes the same quality picture as if you took it with your phone. Um, it's just the the transfer from the phone to the watch seems to make a big difference. So my family. Um, so that's it. So if you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments below or contact us at Android Advice and Tutorials. Um, thanks for watching.